What's up guys? Today we're going to go over five things to improve your Lightroom workflow. So we're in Lightroom here. First thing we'll start off with, say you have a bunch of pictures. Here's some photos that I took um, when I was exploring an abandoned neighborhood. And um, yeah, so we want to go through these. So what I like to do, I like to go and I click and I don't like this one. So you can use the number keys to rate your photos. So I don't like this one, so I go to the next one. This one's not that good so we'll go to the next one okay this one's a little better so we're gonna give it a one I go through and I give everything a one that I like obviously I started editing some of these but you just click a, I click a one on each one alright so say we're like oh this is what we like here so we gave them all ones so we're gonna come down here to this uh, bottom corner here and we're gonna go scroll down and we're gonna go to rated and they can select over here you can click one star, you can, that's another star, so you can click one star, two stars, obviously I didn't give me, so on and so forth. So then I like to go back through and then you can go back through them again, like okay, yeah, I still like this one, so we'll give it a two. Like this one still, give it a two. So on and so forth, we'll go through them. Alright, then we'll go over here and uh, hit the next star. So now it's two stars, so then there is it down, so on and so forth. You guys get the point. You just go through, use your number keys, one through five. It makes things a lot easier. If you accidentally hit a number and you want to take a, take all the stars off, hit zero, and it gets rid of all the stars on that. All right, tip number two. So we'll go into the basic panel. And you can click any of these this side here. Like, we'll start with temperature. So I can click on temperature. And then you see it gives a little uh, prompt down there. Uh, you can use the plus and minus to do slight adjustments. So say you want to warm this up a little bit and you don't want to mess around with say you're like okay well that's a little too warm I just want to bring it back a little bit you can use those plus and minus keys and you can do that on you just have to make sure you click over on top of the word so say exposure let's bring that exposure down a little bit highlights so on and so forth as simple as that makes things a lot easier to get those fine-tuned adjustments tip number three all right down in the HSO panel you can have these little toggle things here these little uh, little circles and whenever you hover over them they have two little uh, arrows above them I can't think of the name of what they're called let's say you click on these and you can drag it over and you can hand pick each color I don't know if you guys can see over here they'll highlight over here whenever I hover over the color so say greens it's over into yellows right now. So it's more yellows. We got oranges. So on and so forth. So we can adjust all these. Like I can bring it, make it really green or or yellow or should I say like a brownish orange there. So yeah, that's a easy thing. You can do that on all three of these. Saturation. So on and so forth. Luminance. makes things a lot easier and also you can also do it in the tone curve there's also one there I don't like to use that because depending on where you click like I can go real down here in the blacks and bring that well that's really high up but bring that up get that faded look I personally like to go in and just click these all put my points in myself but um teach your own okay tip number four I say you've been editing your photos, say like we just adjusted these to HSL. Say you want to go in and like, what exactly did I do? Well, each one of these panels, they have these little toggle switches right here. And you can just click that and it'll turn off the adjustment that you made. Which is really nice. Like tone curve, I can get rid of the tone curve because I adjusted that. But there you go, simple as that. Um, pretty easy wish I knew that sooner instead of, I used to delete things and then go back and try to re put them back in or, it was just a pain I don't know what I was doing when I was first learning okay tip number five so also related to that same thing with the toggle switches you can do the whole before and after with the uh, forward slash key so if you click that it gives you the before notice it says before up here and you click it again and it puts it back so you can really see what you're doing. Because sometimes you only just want to make subtle adjustments, keep the realism going. 
So that's a good way to change that and check that. There you go, guys. That's five tips to help improve your Lightroom workflow. Hope that helped you out. If it did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer. Also, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with your friends. Tell them to subscribe too. I'll do my best to uh, keep updating you guys with my two tutorials a week. And uh, other than that, see you next time. Peace.